I had a massage with a happy ending, yes, just as you hear it. She was lying on the massage table, half naked and with her eyes closed, listening to the relaxing music playing in the background. At that moment, all I needed was to feel those skillful fingers working on my back and all over my body. The guy who was giving me the massage was a good candidate. I'm not going to lie, he was handsome. Anyway, there I was, lying on the stretcher, trying not to think about how handsome the guy was, or how exciting it was that a stranger was touching my back. But honestly, I couldn't focus on anything other than the incredible relief I felt every time his hands brushed my skin, massaging it with that perfect combination of pressure and skill. I had several tense points, my back was very tight. Between the stress of work, the endless hours in front of the computer, and the fact that I basically ignore all of my body's signals that tell me I need to relax, it was no wonder I was so tense. But hey, at least he was doing something about it, right? The masseuse continued to work on my back, and every time his hand slid over my skin, I could feel the stress and tension slowly disappearing. I was feeling so much pleasure and relief, and honestly, I didn't want that moment to ever end. Do you remember that feeling of being massaged and feeling all the stress disappear? Well, that's exactly what was happening while that handsome masseuse was working wonders on my back. But do you know what else was going on? A sudden increase in my body temperature. Yeah, you know what I mean. He was there, trying to relax me and enjoy the massage, when suddenly I started to feel aroused. Not because of the amount of whale the masseuse was using, although that could have easily been an option. No, I'm talking about that kind of heat that runs through your body when you're around someone you're attracted to. And boy was this guy doing well. I don't know if it was his ability to find every spot on my back, or just the fact that he was so handsome, but something about him was lighting a fire inside me. I tried to ignore that feeling, focusing on the music that was still playing in the background, and the idea that I was just fantasizing while receiving the massage. But no matter how much I tried to convince myself of that, I couldn't help but notice how my pulse quickened every time his hands got too close to certain areas of my back. So, as he continued to work on me, I was there, fighting my desire to remain calm and relaxed and my desire to lunge at him and drag him into the next room. Luckily, or unfortunately, depending on how you look at it, the masseuse didn't seem to notice how he made me feel. He continued with his work as if nothing had happened, completely oblivious to the fire he was stoking inside me. My body, he was facing the ultimate test, while he was receiving those massages. There was intimacy in that place, a sense of anonymity that allowed me to open myself to an experience that otherwise would have been impossible. The masseuse continued his work on me. Every time his hands found a weak spot on my back, a wave of sensations ran through my body. And although he tried to maintain his composure, he couldn't help but notice how my temperature rose with every caress with every movement. It was a struggle, a battle between my desire to remain firm and the urge to let myself be carried away by the tide of sensations that enveloped me. But he couldn't let me lose control, not there, not then. However, when he finished with my back and his hands moved towards my legs, I knew he was in trouble. His legs were my weak point my zone of vulnerability. And as his expert fingers began to work on them, I found myself over the edge. Every touch, every pressure, was like an electric shock that brought me closer to climax. I tried to stay calm, to hide the emotions that were brewing inside me, 
but it was a losing battle from the beginning. My legs, my dear legs, were my undoing. And as the masseuse continued his work, I knew he couldn't hold me back much longer. As his hands ran over my legs with exciting dexterity, I couldn't help but notice a subtle change in his attitude. Not only was he carrying out his task masterfully, but there was also a hint of flirtation in the way he moved and looked at me. Every touch, every contact, seemed to be impregnated with a suggestive intention that aroused my curiosity and, also, my desire. In the midst of the pleasure that enveloped me, I surprised myself being attracted by that energy loaded with sensuality. Although I knew it was wrong, that I shouldn't allow those thoughts to invade me, it was difficult to resist the masseuse's seduction, and the exciting tension that was forming between us. In that instant, I found myself disconnected from the outside world, absorbed in the game we were playing. Every word, every smile, fueled the fire of passion that burned within me, making me momentarily forget about everything else, even my husband. The room was filled with an atmosphere full of promises and temptations, and I let myself be carried away by the current of emotions that enveloped us. He knew he was crossing a dangerous line, but in that moment, desire and arousal overshadowed any thoughts of caution. As the masseuse continued his work, I immersed myself in the pleasure and intrigue of what could happen, knowing that he had taken a step beyond the limits of what was allowed. I was wrapped in a seduction that captured me strongly, in that moment, I let myself completely go and fell under the spell of the dangerous game we were playing. Each caress further ignited the flame that burned uncontrollably within me. It was an intoxicating, overwhelming sensation that took me to the edge of pleasure. I tried to contain myself, to fight against the excitement of the moment, but it was useless. Every movement of the masseuse seemed to find a sensitive spot on my body, making my skin crawl and my breathing become erratic. At that moment, I realized that I was losing control, letting myself be carried away by the current of desire that enveloped us. My muscles tensed and relaxed in response to the masseuse's touch, and a tremor ran through my entire being, revealing my total surrender to him. There was no room for reason or restraint. All that mattered was the delicious feeling of surrender, of letting myself be carried away by the maelstrom of emotions that invaded me. And as I trembled under the masseuse's touch, I knew this was a moment I would never forget. It was a moment of pure intensity, in which I was completely immersed in pleasure without reservations or inhibitions. In that dance of desire, I found myself living in the present with an intensity that I never imagined would happen. Every tremor, every caress, brought me closer to ecstasy, and I was ready to let myself go, knowing that the pleasure that awaited me at the end of the road would be beyond any sensation I had ever known before. I let myself be carried away by the current of desire, allowing passion to consume us both, and then, it happened. In a moment of outburst and emotion, I found myself surrendering to the masseuse. I can't give the details of what happened at that moment, but you can imagine. It was an adrenaline-charged moment, a risk I took without thinking about the consequences. My senses were heightened, every beat of my heart ringing in my ears, as I immersed myself in the experience. I can't go into details, but I can say it was a sensational moment. An intense experience that left me trembling with excitement and pleasure, and I know it will not be the last time. In that moment of dedication and unbridled passion, I felt alive like never before. Even though I knew I had cheated on my husband, I couldn't help but feel a sense of liberation and satisfaction at having allowed myself to explore that dark, forbidden side of myself. 
I never thought I would be able to cheat on my husband, but at that moment, I succumbed to temptation. For the first time in my life, I allowed myself to be carried away by desire, ignoring the promises I had made and the lines I swore not to cross. It was an impulsive act, a decision made in a moment of weakness. And although I had a mixture of pleasure and guilt, I couldn't deny the excitement I felt at having allowed myself to explore that adventure. But he knew this was something he would keep a secret. He wouldn't tell anyone about what had happened in that place. Although I felt a little guilty for having betrayed my husband, I also reminded myself that there is only one life, and you have to enjoy it while you can. Sometimes the decisions we make can lead us down dark paths, but that is part of life's journey. If any women are listening to this, I definitely recommend visiting that place. You know what I mean. It is an experience that every woman should live at least once in her life. I can't deny that what happened there exceeded my own limits, but it was also a delicious adventure. I discovered an aspect of myself that I had never explored, a facet of myself that was hidden under layers of responsibility and commitment. Despite everything, I cannot ignore the intensity of the pleasure I experienced. It was liberating, exciting, and, yes, even a little dangerous. But isn't that what it feels like to live? Therefore, if any woman is single, I invite her to allow herself to live this experience. It's not just about getting a massage, but about exploring a part of herself that she may have never known. It is an act of self-discovery, of liberation, of embracing the sensuality and desire that lie dormant in the depths of us. So go ahead, give in to temptation, because at the end of the day, life is meant to be lived to the fullest, and there is no better way to do that than by exploring all facets of our femininity and our sexuality.